Welcome to my short video showing how to post links in your Stovebolt forum post. Let's get started. So I opened the Stovebolt forum using Google Chrome, logged in, made sure I'm logged in, and I'm going to go to the engine forum right uh, here, the engine shop. Now there's already a thread there that I started. It's called Big Smile on My Face. 283 is running in the truck. I clicked on that. I've read all the posts and now I wanna make a comment, but I also wanna post a video. Notice down here in Quick Reply, there is an option that says Use Full Editor. Now you can make a quick reply, of course, with just text, but I want to use full editor and here's why. When I click full editor, it gives me these icons and one of the icons I'm going to need is this picture of the earth with a chain link underneath it. Now, just remember that. I've kept the Stovebolt forum uh, page open and then I logged on to a new tab and went on to YouTube because that's where the video is that I want to uh, link. You'll notice on the YouTube page there is uh, the video screen and there's the control panel and at the top of the page way up here is a web address. That web address is specific to this video. If I wanted to post that video or that video or that video I would have to put that on my screen and then copy this web address. To copy that web address, I simply take my cursor and I click it, and it becomes blue background. I right click to say copy. Apple computers may have a different process, but you want to copy that address. That address is now saved on my computer clipboard. So it's in the memory in the background on a clipboard. I've typed my message now in the forum on the section there under the full editor <clears throat> and the cursor is at the end of the sentence. Now I'm going to go to the icon here that shows the earth with a chain link underneath it and that hopefully that makes sense. You're linking to the World Wide Web. I'm going to click that icon with my cursor where I want to the link to appear. Magically appearing above the screen, at the top of the screen is a message with a window that says, enter the URL of your link. You'll notice it says HTTP colon backslash backslash. If you hit the backspace key, that will disappear. Your goal is to make that box completely empty. Once you've made it completely empty, put your cursor on your mouse up there and right click. Now you're going to select paste. Paste will take the web address of that YouTube video and paste it in there from the clipboard. Now you're going to say, okay. Now you have another box. It says now enter a title for this link. Well, let's just call it video link. I like to put it in all caps, but since I uh, am doing this one handed and it doesn't matter, we're just gonna say okay. What you've done now has finished a string of information that the computer forum will use, that the forum will use now to create a link. And it says video link. When I press post reply, this is what it looks like. Here is a shorter video and then underlined in blue is a hot link that is labeled what I named it, video link. You could put down my truck video or anything you want. 
and then it tells the source of where this link is coming from. It's coming from YouTube, not some other website. And now other people, when they log on and look at this post, they can click here and view the video on YouTube because their web browser will open a new page and keep the Stove Bolt page open as well. I hope this has been helpful.